Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Raph Nickerson. Summer basketball camp is a perfect way for a young player to learn the game of basketball and sharpen his or her skills. And who else better to learn from than an experienced high school coach and some of her top players? This is the Clearbrook Summer Skills Camp put on by the Lady Wolves and their new coach, Latoya Geisen Tanner. Before she left Alvin High School to take over the program here, the players say they already heard the rumors. I'm so excited. I'm really excited because I know she's a hard coach. I've heard that she's hard. She likes to win and I like to win. So I think her being hard with us is going to push us to get us to where we need to be. So that's going to work good for us. Coach Geisen Tanner says she's very proud of her reputation as a tough coach. The reputation does get a little bit ahead of me. I think that players talk. Um, I'm glad that it's not a bad reputation if she doesn't do anything. So I'll take the she's crazy over she's just nothing. Um, I, I think I bring a lot of energy and passion. I hope they understand I bring a lot of knowledge too. I try to be as prepared as I possibly can. So um, I'm glad I have a reputation of being a little bit of a gunslinger. That way when I come in, I can kind of use that intimidation to kind of mold players into what I like them to be. So I think that's a good thing. I'm excited about that. She also says she's very excited about the team she has coming back. Well, there's, a, there's some hidden talent, I think. I think that the girls here, um, at every position, we have potential. And they're young in a lot of ways. We're going to lose five seniors after this year. But what I have right now, I think, is a lot to work with. I've got some shooting. I've got some good ball handlers. And I've got some good girls who can work down low. So I saw a lot of just potential that's hidden that can go further than what I think that they, you know, achieved last year. This team is returning its five top scores leading rebounder and three six-footers. They say they're motivated to erase the memories of last season. I'm not really over it because it's like we went to playoffs my freshman year, sophomore year. We should have went. We didn't go. So this year is just like I'm hungry for it. I don't want to go to playoffs. But I'm not just making it to playoffs, but I want to go far. The Lady Wolverines are in one of the toughest districts in the greater Houston area with teams like Clear Creek, Clear Lake, and one of the most talented teams in the state, Clear Springs. That means facing one of the best point guards in the country in Brooke McCarty. Just think of ways to not stop her, but limit her. She's the best. You can't stop her, you can limit her. And that's what I do. I just think of ways to help me and my team limit her from doing as much as she can. So she won't drop like 40 on it. And we want to make sure we can limit her. You have to make sure you prepare well for them. The thing about them is they're not going to make very many mistakes. And so you have to make sure that you're prepared enough that you're minimizing your mistakes. They're going to make sure they're trying to capitalize on those. Um, my plan is to put an assistant in that first handles their defense, because that's the first thing you have to do. You have to handle all the traps that come with it, the press, um, and then handle their really key players. If we can do a good job on them and figure out how to play a really good, I think, tough man defense with them, because we have the size to do that, and then get some outside shooting going, um, you never know. They're going to be tough to beat. Um, it's a tough district to be in, but I think that if we, we train the way we're going to train and we train to be champions, I think it will be okay. I really do. Last year, this team went 7-6 and six in district and 14-18 and 18 overall. The players say one of the biggest problems they had was lack of team chemistry. I share at the beginning of the year, we were a team. Like, you can look at us and tell everybody liked each other. We were a team. Like, if you looked at us, you would say, they're going to be good. They're a team. And then towards the end of the year, that's when everybody fell off. It was getting crazy. Everybody got mad at each other for every little thing. I guess because it was getting close to like the time where we had to win to get to playoffs. And every little thing someone did was wrong to someone. And we all fell off. Like there was groups here that liked each other, groups here. I think that's bad. And hopefully this year we can like take all that out. Because Coach G is talking how we're going to do a lot of bonding and stuff. Hopefully that gets us together to win because last year we didn't do that. Well, first thing that they talked to me about because I met individually with all my seniors and uh, we talked and they said there was no uh, team captain. So we want to make sure that we establish roles this year, that they know their roles and um, we have captains that we can go to and facilitate those type of things that we do. The other thing we do is team building activities. On Friday night, sometimes we'll make it, we'll go out to a dinner or they'll go out to a dinner or they have to go stay at someone's house or do something like that. And then on Saturdays during the season, we'll spend an hour just talking about what some things we can work on as a team, what are some things that we see that are going well? What are some things individual players are doing good that we need to kind of praise? I think the important thing is to point out the good things that we're doing and not focus on the negative. So we definitely have some plans and action. My seniors and I, we talked about some things we can do to get better. I think with this new coach, I think we can get somewhere. And I would like to get somewhere because I haven't been 
in high school, we got to playoffs and lost in the first round against Hightower, you know. And I just would like to get past first round, get somewhere, prove that we're something, because we're a good team. Everybody looks past us because of what we had before. I want people to look at us and be intimidated. I'm Raf Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.